Hello everyone, welcome to the Techo Genius Academy. We are the team of IT industry experts who are having minimum three years of experience in the following domains like embedded Linux, device drivers, Internet of Things, data science, machine learning, DevOps, Docker, Kubernetes, and many more. And today we are here to discuss the next module in advanced Linux device driver series on BeagleBone Black. And the module name is UART device driver. In our earlier session, we have discussed about that SPA device driver. And uh, today we will uh, discuss about the uh, introductory session of uh, like what will be included in this uh, whole module and uh, how we will proceed with that. Okay, so to start with, uh, we are having uh, the session uh, UART communication protocol. We will discuss about like uh, how uh, how the communication uh, will happen between uh, both the devices and uh, how the transfer will happen. Uh, uh, what is the speed for that? Uh, what is the advantage of using UART instead of ICSC and SPA? And uh, a, a little bit more about that, uh, how, uh, how this uh, method uh, will be used in uh, various uh, technologies. And uh, uh, to begin with, uh, we will uh, discuss uh, uh, the serial sub subsystem, uh, the serial layer, and uh, uh, moreover, like uh, we will just deep dive into that uh, building block of uh, serial sub subsystem, and uh, so you, you will have that uh, idea that uh, how the communication will happen. Okay, and uh, the, uh, the further going, uh, we will discuss about uh, the UART uh, driver structure. Like uh, there'll be a different uh, structures uh, we are going to use uh, in this uh, whole module, and uh, so that's why like I have just divided uh, this uh, structures to the uh, two parts. So there is a you know, UART uh, uh, data structures and all, and there is a TTY uh, driver structure. So that that will relate to that uh, TTY framework and all. So we will use uh, first that uh, whatever the UR data structures and uh, we will see that how we can include them in, into that our driver and all and uh, to just uh, understand in a better way we will uh, demonstrate and write a one uh, uh, simple platform uh, dependent UR driver and uh, if you guys don't know about that uh, platform driver, please go uh, watch uh, the free uh, session on uh, like platform driver, like what are uh, platform devices, uh, like what are uh, like platform driver and all. So you will have that basic idea and uh, then uh, probably uh, it will help you to understand the platform dependent UI driver uh, in a better way. Okay, so uh, uh, that's it in this uh, uh, platform dependent uh, UR driver. And uh, further going, uh, we will uh, discuss about the Linux TTY framework. Okay, so in it in it will include uh, uh, the different uh, TTY driver structures and uh, how that uh, uh, communication will happen. Okay, and. Uh, Actually, in that serial subsystem only, uh, we will uh, showcase that uh, uh, how it will uh, communicate from the user space application to that hardware. So in that, uh, the layers will come. So in that layers, uh, you will understand in a better way. So uh, in including that, uh, we will have uh, these uh, uh, driver structures and all and uh, different uh, uh, low level uh, driver APIs so which we will include in this uh, framework and to uh, demonstrate uh, in a uh, full manner we will uh, write the dummy ur driver uh, using that tty framework also okay so th that will give you that idea okay and uh, uh, basically actually the reason behind uh, uh, these many sessions uh, because I don't want to jump directly to that UR drivers saying that uh, uh, guys this is a UR driver and uh, this is the make file you just need to run it and uh, this is the configuration you have to done and uh, you just uh, need to transfer this file into the BeagleBone Black and uh, uh, try this uh, samples and all so uh, it means like uh, you are not uh, going deep dive into that understanding of uh, actual uh, UART uh, 
uh, thing that uh, the uh, TTY framework and all. So that is a main part which will include in uh, this whole module. Okay, and uh, last uh, we will introduce uh, that how we can integrate the UART driver uh, with our uh, TTY framework. So it will give you that whole idea, okay? And uh, I'll showcase you some generic driver, UR driver also. We will search over the internet and we'll uh, try to find uh, some uh, driver and all. But uh, each and every uh, demonstration and uh, the driver will be uh, written by me and uh, uh, we will uh, we will uh, just uh, uh, make some skeleton kind of thing and uh, whatever the uh, rest of the things uh, we will include by ourselves okay and uh, uh, as you know uh, we are happy to help uh, and uh, uh, so that's why there is a bonus session also as uh, there is a rule <laughs> in our uh, team uh, that uh, definitely we will include some bo bonus session in that uh, entire module and all whatever the module uh, we will introduce so in our earlier session uh, in the SPA model uh, SPA device driver uh, we have introduced this bonus session and uh, the, here also uh, the bonus session is like uh, how we can do the DMA transfers uh, in uh, uh, UR driver and uh, we, we, we will just showcase that uh, what are the different modes also so there uh, there is a simple uh, simple UR driver okay and uh, there will be interrupt mode there will be a DMA mode so uh, we will see like uh, in how uh, like in, in different manners in different technologies uh, how this uh, UR driver we will use okay so either it will be interrupt mode either uh, or it will be a uh, uh, DMA mode okay so uh, this is it uh, and uh, yeah uh, so we will uh, meet in our uh, next session where we will discuss about the uh, this uh, communication protocol uh, and uh, serial subsystem and we will just jump into the uh, uh, confirm availability of this uh, UR driver. Okay. Uh, thank you so much.